Hi everyone, uh, I'm hiding behind my MC8 uh, tonight because I'm going to give you a proper bench update. We're going to talk about this first, then I'm going to go and get the CA30 and show you what's wrong with that and what needs fixing. Uh, and then maybe I'll talk about the Hummer in the end because that's also had some, uh, some repair work done to it. So the MC8 first of all, the Cross MC8 12th scale, don't forget. Now, first thing I've done with that and the most obvious thing, if you've, if you've seen this truck on the videos already, is the wheels. I've put 155 boom racing um, steelies on, usually seen on a Toyota, uh, on a Hilux or something, and I've wrapped them up in RC four wheel drive uh, Wrangler Dura tracks, 4.19 inch, I think. So they're quite tall, 155s, they are exactly the same, I say exactly, but okay, as close as I can tell, the same diameter as the 1.9s I took off before. So even though the rims are smaller, the actual tyres are the same sort of rolling diameter. So that's cool, I'm not going to have any clearance issues and so on. I chose this primarily because um, cosmetically I wanted a more uh, balloon type look to the tyres um, than, than I was getting before. Yeah, so you can see they are really nice, lots of nice sidewall detail on them. If I maybe try and put the light a little sideways, you can see lots of nice sidewall detail. Being RC4 wheel drive tyres, they are lovely to feel, lovely and sticky. And I quite like the treads and not too aggressive, but a little bit capable looking. Primarily the height was the main draw to this, so they weren't going to look too small on this truck. But I wanted to increase the tyre uh, height rather than the rim height. So um, that's hopefully done now. little tale about these, and odd, maybe it doesn't speak too well of RC4 wheel drives quality control. But these on the back axle that you're looking at now were bought for the Hummer. But the Hummer didn't accept... 155s over its portal boxes so I was left with them so okay fine so I thought I'll put them on here I'll get another set eventually so I got another set last week and they're the ones on the front now the front are much harder forms than the ones at the back so there's a there's the thing go figure um, so I am getting a little bit of tyre squish with this shipping container on but the ones on the front traditionally where I would have uh, more weight uh, are not really squishing to any great degree which is cool because when the truck's going downhill it needs to be able to support all of its weight properly without rolling the tires under steering now speaking of steering there's also something else amiss as you can tell um, that's not really an optimal kind of tracking problem there I think um, the servo horn has broken uh, broke a while back on this so that's the next job I've got to do it's one big one servo horn that sits in the middle uh, of the two st two steering axles at the front uh, and powered by one servo. Just got quite a job on its hands. I was being stupid with the truck and uh, I overstressed it and it snapped. It's just uh, resin. You know, you can't get a metal one or anything. It has to be the cross uh, double braced but still resin um, steering arm. So that's going to go in next. So she's getting a little bit of a, of a renovation. There is a bigger plan ahead for this truck. I will let you in on that secret uh, as and when. I get anywhere near doing it. CA30 is now on the table. She's looking a bit sorry for herself. This of course is King Kong CA30 6x6. Um, Chinese licensed copy, I mean a proper copy of a Chinese licensed copy of um, a Zill truck. Different grill is the main, the main giveaway. Now, it's got my styrene box on the back. Um, when this last went to Wales, and it still has a fair amount of Wales on it, in it, it, uh, it ate the front diff. So I have, I did get the parts fairly quickly from King Kong on eBay. And let's see what I've got in here. I've got a, I have already stripped the axle down just to see what the problem is. So I've got a, a collection of parts and a variety of innards are hanging off the truck as I speak. But yeah, the, um, there is a, a tooth missing on the front. Uh, yeah, you see the, the silver. They've just been shaved off slightly. Um, it got stuck in a bog and um, I overdid it basically. And uh, I think the front wheels must have got bound up under the water and uh, yeah, something had to give as these things do. So I've got the parts as I say, I just need to get this thing upside down on the table and um, get the axle out and get it bits and bobs replaced so it's not not a, gr a great problem what I've also got to do with this and it's been long overdue is sort out why my axle 
back axles go in and out. There's got a fair bit of lateral movement on them, um, which they really shouldn't have. It's not good for them, I don't think. And it's certainly not nice to see your, your back wheels kind of doing this on a head-on. So um, I was talking to Steve at RC Crawlers Mid Wales. He's got one of these as well, you've probably seen. I was running them together and he fixed his. So I need to just strip the back axles off and get in amongst them. And uh, apparently it's, just, it's a fairly simple mod. It just takes a bit of stripping down to get to. And, um, and she'll be back in the game again. So I'm looking forward to running this rig. This is probably my favourite rig. Uh, just because of the amount of work I, you know, that went into the box and, and how, how nicely it turned out, not wishing to beat my own trumpet, but beat my own drum. But uh, yeah, I am I am very proud of this. So it's nice to see. Uh, it'd be nice to get her back out again and uh, and get her running and get all these bits put back. Oh, golden blade! All these oily bits put back in where they belong. And um, so this is this is the next job I think that will be done. Once I've got the CA, uh, the MC's uh, steering servo back in, um, then this will be the very next job I do. Because I do like this truck. Alright, Hummer next, as I promised. Okay, so, the Hummer. This is, of course, is the HG P408, if I remember rightly. I think it's the uh, P408. I've typed it into YouTube so many times. Now, the problem with this, last time it went to Wales, on the first day of the two days I was there, it snapped uh, this side, I think it was, the um, one of the drive outputs from the front axle. Now, therein lies a real tale. The underside of these trucks is, a, is, is, on one hand, a magnificent, you know, engineering marvel, really. They're awfully heavy. They're very, very heavy chassis. All metal, everything. And they're built like tanks. They're built very scale, so they're very realistic in, under here. And what you have basically, these two shafts, these two, uh, the two axles, are shrouded in big metal chassis brackets. Kind of cross members here. Onto which the uh, independent front suspension arms are connected. And the whole thing forms a cage around the pumpkin. So inside the pumpkin, inside the pumpkin you have, obviously, the main, the main gear. And coming out of each side of that, you have a drive shaft with a coupling on the end. It's all one piece. And obviously onto there, into there goes the, uh, the dog bone and the, in the end the wheel. So what had happened is, one of these had snapped. The, it just basically, this, this metal shaft had just completely snapped. So the wheel was free spinning. It didn't come out because it's all held in by various, you know, kind of brackets and things. But it was free freewheeling, so I was in three-wheel drive, which was an interesting experience. Uh, not one I care to repeat in any great hurry. So I had to get the whole thing apart to, to replace this. This eventually came from Banggood fairly quickly. Uh, I, I ordered a, a whole new axle, in fact, and a couple of spare parts, a couple of specific spare parts. So I've got plenty of spares should this happen again. The problem I had, put this down, was some of the bolts um, rounded off. So the, the quality of the bolts on this truck are not great. And out of the four I had to undo on the, the two cross beams, three of them rounded. One of them, one of them came out fine. One of, them, one of the rounded ones came out eventually, but two of them snapped. The head just snapped clean off the bolt. I don't know what they'd put them in with. So I was basically faced with, I couldn't strip it down properly, and then I was faced with these snapped bolts. I could maybe try drilling them out, and then I would have damaged everything. You know, the whole thing is really, really complicated under here. Um, so Steve at RC Crawlers Mid Wales, who I was running it with, he'd suggested that I send it to him, and he'd, he'd have a look at it. I'll get his mate. He's his engineering genius mate to have a look at them and see if he could get the actual th thread bit out so I could just re-bolt it and job's a good one. Long story short, he did. Steve did it. So massive thanks to Steve for that. He really saved my bacon. Um, I'll be looking at new cross members maybe, and they're not available as parts as far as I can find. So I would really have been stuck at that point. Um, so he managed to sort that out. So then I could repair it fairly easily. So yeah, be warned with these trucks. They're not easy to work on. Spares are not that available. There's a lot of parts, in other words, and you can't get them all. Yeah, certainly not in the UK. So uh, that was a bit of a thing. 
Now, once I got it fixed and got it sorted, much relief all round, I then put a new set of tyres on because the stock tyres, though I made a big deal when I was building this and doing this series on it, um, they're very scale looking, they're very authentic pattern. Um, I, well, I did find out they're all Tamiya tyres, which didn't impress me greatly. And I decided to, to upgrade the tyres, but only from eBay. So <laughs> despite what I said about the MC, these are eBay tyres. And Steve's run them. Uh, on one of his rigs and to great effect He's, he really likes them so I figured I'd give them a try they're dirt cheap I mean like 18 quid or something for four and I am quite impressed with them so far they feel a little bit a little bit stickier than the normal um, they're a little bit bigger I mean I'll give you a look at the I think the voodoos I think that's that's what he said he, he told me they were, they were voodoo tires I've got no experience of voodoo tires so I don't really know what tread pattern that is uh, that they've been copied from but I figured I'd give them a go they're a little bit bigger than the stock tyres so I'm probably going to get I mean even limited travel this thing has which isn't much uh, I will probably get a bit of rub certainly on, on sort of full lock situations I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll end up rubbing a little bit uh, hopefully I won't have to dremel any of the arches away I don't really want to have to do that um, but obviously that's the last last resort I guess um, so there you go, just to make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. That's what I've done to the Hummer. Right, so she's back in the game. She might get a run out at the weekend. I don't know. Just give these tyres a little workout, maybe see what they're like. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pleased she's working because I really do like this truck. I really do rate this 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 rig um, a lot. Uh, I think I was a little bit unlucky breaking apart, uh, but you know, I was I was hammering it on the on the rocks. You know, she's not really a rock truck. She's got no travel and uh, no flex and uh, she weighs a ton so probably not a great thing to be um, skating about in rock fields with in fairness you know it's not the right truck for that so uh, I paid the price but uh, yeah otherwise I, I, I really do rate this thing um, this is a shame they've gone up in money so much otherwise I'd have a second one they um, <laughs> just for spares no I mean honestly to run it they uh, they've gone up in price horrendously but uh, yeah, great rig. If, you, if you've got one, you'll probably know what it's like. You, you, you'll testify to this. Um, she's not a crawler, really. Uh, but she does a pretty good job. With both diffs locked, she does a pretty good job. So, there you go. So that's really what's on my bench. Um, MC8 CA30 Hummer. It's going to take me a little while to fix them all up. And then, as I say, I've got a big MC8 overhaul to do. Okay? Which I will tell you about as a separate thing, I think. Otherwise, uh, we'll be here all night. I don't really want to be here all night. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and I will um, I will see you maybe next week. I don't know. We'll see. See what Terry's up to. Eh? Anyway, goodbye. Thank you, and um, hit the like, uh, hit the bell, do all that stuff because that's great. Um, you know, it's nice to know that you guys are watching these videos, and um, we will uh, we'll try and uh, get round to you and see yours as well. All right, bye now.